We're finished with April, but the harsh dry season continues. In fact, at Piarco, they only recorded 14 millimetres. Out in A&R Robinson in the Tobago, it fared much better, 77 millimetres there. But uh, definitely more dry weather is expected for May, with below normal rainfall forecasted for both Trinidad and the Tobago. So it seems as though no surprise then that we'll see mostly sunny and breezy weather across Tobago to start your day. This will continue into the afternoon and indeed for most parts of Trinidad as well. You will notice the hot sunny weather, especially around Turco, along into Sandy Grandi. Maybe there's a bit of high level cloud drifting by and there's the low chance of a few showers popping up along the hillsides of the northern range. The central and the southern areas will also feel hot as you go through the afternoon, so be mindful about that. Down towards Rio Claro, San Fernando and Pinal, you begin to feel that heat, especially around 11 o'clock and continuing as you go towards a 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And obviously, conditions will cool as you get towards the evening. Temperature-wise, looking at those highs of 33 in the Trinidad, possibly 34 for San Fernando and Port of Spain, 32 likely in Scarborough, 31 expected in Canaan. Now, there's very little change expected through Thursday and a Friday, still keeping mostly sunny skies, just the isolated shower here, 31 across the board for Tobago, and also 33 expected for Trinidad, so still feeling quite warm as we end the working week on Friday. We are heading to the beaches. We continue to see those east northeasterly winds of 20 knots. Some sea spray and white caps are expected. We could be seeing the waves beginning to build from midweek. 2 to 2.5 meters expected offshore, especially in the Atlantic. And easterly swells remaining short at 8 seconds as you go through your Wednesday. And if you are heading out, you've got your high tide at 2.30 uh, p.m. Then you've got your low tide at 8.30 p.m. So that's your weather and that's it for me.